The first requirement for studying any distant network is host discovery, that is, reducing a list of IP ranges to a list of active or interesting hosts. On many networks, only a small percentage of IP addresses are active at given any given time. Nmap offers a wide variety of options to perform this task. The most basic way of host discovery is using ICMP eco request packets known as the ping scan. If no host discovery options are provided to Nmap, it sends an ICMP eco request, a TCP SYN packet to port 443 and TCP ACK packet to port 80 and an ICMP timestamp request. By default, host discovery is followed by the port scan and map can recognize port states as open, closed, filtered, unfiltered, open or filtered and closed or unfiltered. And map provides various port scanning techniques. Let's see how exactly these port scanning techniques work. The first port scanning technique is TCP SYN scan, which is also known as half open scan. This is a quick scan capable of scanning around thousands of ports per and map sends SYN packet as if it is going to open a real connection and waits for the response. If the response is SYN SEK packet, it indicates the port is open, a reset indicates the port is closed and if no response is obtained, the port is concluded to be a filtered one. TCP connect scan is the default scan performed by NMAP. Unlike the TCP SYN scan, the connection is completely established in TCP connect scan and this can easily be logged by the target machine. In both TCP SYN scan and TCP connect scan, if a TCP packet is sent to a closed port of the target machine, the response is a reset packet. The next three scans are used to differentiate between the open and closed ports. These three scan types are same in behavior except for the TCP flag set in the probe packets. If a reset packet is received, the port is considered closed, while no response means the port is open or filtered. These three scans are namely the TCP null scan in which the uh, no flag is set into the TCP header. The next one is the fin scan in which the TCP bin of TCP fin bit is set. And the third one is the XML scan in which fin, push and urgent flags are set into the TCP Unlike other port scanning tools, NMAP also scans the UDP ports. UDP scan is slower than the TCP scan. UDP works by sending a UDP packet to every target port. If the ICMP port unreachable echo is returned, the port is considered closed or filtered. And if a UDP response is received, then it is considered open. Besides these basic scanning features and map also provides many advanced features like service detection OS detection of the target machine remote OS detection using TCP IP stack fingerprinting is one of nmap's best known features and map uses a very simple algorithm for OS detection now we'll get into the details of the technique used by nmap for OS detection the ideal conditions for NMAP OS detection is the availability of one open TCP port, one closed TCP port and a closed UDP port. NMAP first performs a port scan against the target machine to find these ports. NMAP OS fingerprinting works by sending up to 16 TCP, UDP and ICMP probes to known open and closed ports of the target machine. These probes are specially fabricated packets designed to exploit various ambiguities in the standard protocol RFC. NMAP then listens for the responses, whereas attributes of these responses are analyzed and combined to generate a fingerprint known as the subject fingerprint. Finally, NMAP tries to match the subject fingerprint with one of the fingerprint in its OS fingerprint database. Probes to the open TCP ports are skipped if no such port is found. And in case of the closed TCP and UDP ports, NMAP selects a random port and hopes for the best. Let's have a look on the probe sent by NMAP. A series of 6 TCP SYN packets to the detected open port is sent in these tests. 
These packets differ in the TCP options they use and the TCP window field value. The responses of these probes are used to generate four lines in the subject fingerprint, namely sequence analysis, TCP options received, window sizes in the responses, and the test values for the first probe. Following the sequence test, six T2 through T7 tests each send one TCP probe packet. These packets differ in flag set, TCP options data, and the window field. Probes for T2, T3, and T4 are sent to open ports, whereas the remaining probes are sent to a closed port. Response of each probe generates corresponding line in the result. The IE test involves sending two ICMP ECO request packets to the target. The results of both these probes are combined to produce the IE line in the result. Then the TCP explicit congestion notification test for ECN support in the target TCP stack. And finally, a UDV packet is sent to a closed port and response is analyzed to generate U1 line in the subject fingerprint. Now I will demonstrate the OS detection technique discussed by us by performing an OS scan on the machine in the local network having IP address 192.168.17.182. I'll explicitly perform the port scan to find the open and close ports on the target machine, which is implicitly performed by NMAC when we perform a OS detection. NMAC takes few seconds as the thousands of packets are being sent to the target machine. Now, as we can see in the report scan, 23 has been uh, recognized as the t open TCP port and 1040 as a closed TCP port. I'll try to monitor the packet sent by NMAP to the target machine using the TCP dump utility. As OS detection requires the super user privilege to perform the OS detection, we have to use sudo. Now, in the TCP dump utility we can see that the nmap is sending thousands of packets to the target machine on the ports recognized during the port scan now here i am selecting the uh, some of the packets such as icmp eco request two packets have been sent to the target machine one udp packet has been sent to the target machine then on port 23 tcp packets have been sent as we have seen it is the open port similarly on port 1040 we are sending TCP packets and we are, now we can see the we are getting the responses from the machine having IP address 192.168.17.182 from port 23 that is the open port and each is having particular sequence and acknowledgement values now nmap studies the, these response packets and creates a fingerprint and after matching that subject fingerprint, uh, fingerprint with its database it comes to the conclusion that the OS running on the target machine is Microsoft Windows XP and it gives other details as it is uh, service pack 4 now I will try the same OS scan for a different machine with IP address 180 now in this case nmap is unable to match any particular OS fingerprint so it will display you the subject TCP IP fingerprint which was created by analyzing the responses of the probe sent to the target machine. In this fingerprint, the, there are various lines representing various tests performed on the responses. Now here I use the max OS tries to limit the number of try that uh, nmap attempts on the target machine to detect the OS. Now I'll be using OS can guess option of OS detection, which makes an map to guess aggressively whatever has been found during the response analysis. We can also see uh, the fingerprints which are stored in the nmap file, nmap database file. Now let's have a look. 
on the fingerprint. Now, as I said, there was no particular, uh, no exact matching of the fingerprint. But using the aggressive guessing and map guess that the target machine is running Linux operating system. Now let's have a look on the fingerprint stored in the database of nmap. nmap uses the nmap OS DB file to store thousands of fingerprints for various operating systems. Now here I am displaying the fingerprint for Linux 2.6.13 having various lines for various tests such as sequence, options, windows, T1 to T7, UN and IE. Same things can be found in the subject fingerprint prepared by nmap by analyzing the responses. Now, nmap can also use the service detection feature to identify the OS. In case OS detection is unable to get any exact match for fingerprint of the OS, nmap uses the service detection. By using the hyphen A option, we can perform both OS scan and service scan. In this case, as we can see, there was no exact OS match found for the host. But using the services recognized, nmap can conclude that the OS running on the target machine is Linux and the host name is IP admin desktop.